T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Hey Kids Life family, it is awesome to be joining with you today. My name is Dan and joining me is the amazing Samuel and we are so pumped to be online with you today. We've got some pretty amazing stuff planned. Mm -hmm. Do you know what we've got Pastor Dan? Uh, well, uh, let me just say two words to you. Sean Mode, minute to win it. That was more than two words, but how exciting is that gonna be? He's pretty great at those things. And I'm pretty sure we've also got an amazing memory verse mm -hmm. and a super fantastic message. So you do not wanna miss a second of it. Make sure you hang around mm -hmm. to the very end. That's right. Well, so get glued to your seats, get ready for an awesome time. Let's do this. Yeah. I'm one of the kids leaders at our North location and today I get the privilege to talk to you about the Word of God, our memory verse for this week. And so, of course, we love our Bible and in Psalms 46 verse 10, this is what it says. It says, be still and know that I am God. It's not easy to be still all the time, but I've organized Pastor Dan, the Pops man, 
to come and bring a stop sign for us today. When you see a stop sign, what do you think about? You stop because there's maybe danger ahead, yeah? You stop because someone's trying to protect you. And when I think about this scripture, I think about we should be still, we should stop from what we're doing and know that God is in control. And so today we're gonna look at some actions that we can do for this memory verse. So it says, be still and know that I am God. He's King, right? He's Lord over everything. Can you do this with me? Be still and know that I am God. It's found in Psalms 46 verse one. And I hope that this week you get a reminder that you can stop from all your busyness. You can stop from your worry. You can stop because God is working in your life. And no matter what's happening, we can be still. We can know that I am God. Have an awesome week. Hi guys, I'm Fiona and I'm one of the kids leaders here at Brisbane South. How crazy is it that we're not meeting together in our kids' rooms today? But you know, we've been here before and we've experienced this before and I'm so thankful that we have technology so we can still be celebrating Sunday together in kids' life. You know, when things like this happen, it can make us feel a little bit unsettled and a bit uneasy in our mind and in our spirit. Sometimes it can make us feel, well, let me show you a little bit like this. This is just some sparkling water. Look, I'll prove it. I'm going to have a drink. Mm, refreshing. But when I put it into this jar, we're going to pretend that that's like the world and what's going on in the world right now. And then I've got some sultanas and I'm just going to use these. These are going to represent us. So I've got one for Pastor Dan, one for Jeanette, one for Samuel, one for Sean, and one for me. I don't know if you can see, but our sultanas, they're kind of bouncing around in there because they're a bit unsettled because of what's happening to them. You know, does God want that for us though? Does he want us to be kind of unsettled, bouncing up and down? Did God say, I'm going to leave you alone and forget about you? No, he said, I will never leave you and never forsake you. Did God say, I give you worry? No, Jesus told us that he gives us his peace. Not worry, not unsettled, not being unsure about things, but being secure. And so we don't need to bounce around inside feeling unsettled and unsure, even though what's happening around us feels a little bit confusing. What's our memory verse for today? Psalm 46 verse 10. Say it with me. Be still and know that I am God. Remember that God tells us to be still, not bouncing up and down and bouncing all around. You know, I wonder, what does that look like though? Like, how do we be still? What are some ways that we can be still? I wonder if you can tell me. I'm gonna give you, I'll do count to three, and then you can all yell at me, what are some things that we can do to be still and know that he's God? One, two, three, go! Oh, yes, love that one. Good job. Yes. Some of you had some really awesome ideas then. I heard praying, that's an awesome way. I heard reading our Bible, fantastic. I heard worship music and singing to God. They are all awesome ways that we can be still and know that He's God. One of my favourite things, I like to go on a little bit of a bushwalk and I try and find a really out of the way spot when no one else is around. Hopefully, there's a beautiful view as well. And I just like to sit when I find my spot and just close my eyes and listen. And when I do that, I can start to hear some things. First of all, it might be like the big noises, like birds, or if I'm near a waterfall, the water running. But as I sit still, I hear smaller sounds, like 
an animal walking across the dry leaves. And then if I sit still long enough, I can even hear the wind. And when I'm that still, I feel the bigness of God. And I can just get so still and understand that God is bigger than everything that we're going to come across. And that His stillness, His still water will calm us and calm our spirit. It's a bit like this. This is just plain water, just still water. And when I pour it into this jar and add the stillness of God, the sultanas become still. They don't bounce around anymore because God has come in and settled them all down. You know, guys, I want you to remember that when we are feeling uncertain and unsure, we can always know that he's God and we can be still. Let's say our memory verse one more time. Psalms 46 verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. If you're not feeling still today, just pray to him and he will help you. I just love to pray for you and pray for you to understand this scripture and to understand that when we get still, we can see the bigness of God. Lord Jesus, I thank you so much that you are right here with us, that you're here in all the confusion and everything that's happening in the world. God, I pray a prayer of blessing over everybody that's listening to my voice right now, that they would know that you are God and that would help them to be still, that they would have the comfort of knowing that God, nothing is a surprise to you. Nothing is scary to you that you are bigger than everything that's happening in our world and that God, you will bring your peace, that you will be right there with us. You've not forgotten us and you are our Lord. You love us and you have got all good things for us. I pray this in your mighty name. Amen. Are you ready? Oh my goodness, it's meant to win! Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, your host for tonight's event. Mm. <sighs> hey, I didn't see you there. My name is Sean. That is true. I'm on the moon. That is false. <laughs> see what I did there? My name is actually Sean and I'm from Life Church South. And I'm one of the kids leaders here. And I'm going to do a minute to win a game with you guys. And I'm just putting out there, some of you probably thinking, oh man, where's Men to Win It? Where's Sean? I'm here. I am here. And we are doing a game <laughs> right now. And so you can find these things in your house. I mean, if you can have pasta, you're probably gonna find pasta in your house. I'm not sure, some of you maybe, but pasta is very known in the houses of Brisbane. And so is um, Fruity Rings. I'm not, ex like, it's too expensive to get Fruit Loops. So I just get fruity rings. They taste exactly the same. So <laughs> as you can see, I've got this. And what you're gonna do is try and get as many of these fruity rings or fruit loops, if you can afford them, um, on to your pasta in a minute. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna start a timer. Let's do this. Well, as you can see, it's very hard to talk when there's a straw and there's a spaghetti in your mouth. But I'll do it a go. Actually. Oh gosh. There's, mm, mm -hmm. There's a lot of noises. <laughs> because it's so hard. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, oh, oh. oh man! Let's go! Oh. <laughs> but I lost that one. But we'll give it another go, that's it. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's do this. Here we go. Oh gosh. It just got smaller. Mm. Oh no, that was the time! But I feel like that one was on there. So I've got one, guys. Let's see if you can do better than that. Um, how
have fun, be blessed, enjoy life, peace. Wow, what an amazing time. That message was phenomenal. Like, life sometimes is up and down, but God is consistent. And that is just so true. Did yes. you really enjoy that, Pastor Dan? Absolutely. Can I get an amen? Thank you so much, Chaplain Fiona, for that great message. Hey, this week, we know that it's school holidays for most of you. So what we want you to do is be sending your photos and your videos of all of the cool things that you're doing on your school holidays. We want to see your memory verse practice. Yeah. Maybe you could practice the minute to win it that you just saw Sean do whilst quoting the memory verse. How good would that be? That would be, be pretty awesome. That Someone doing pretty the cool. minute to win it and seeking the main verse at the same time. Mm -hmm. If I could speak English, that would be awesome. That's exercise and Bible at the same time. Yeah. It doesn't get better than that. But that's it for us for now. God bless you. We'll see you guys real soon. Bye. See you next time.